Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tour of the plants we have around the house. Uh, let me spin you guys around so we can start the tour. I'll start off with this plant here. This one is called an elephant bush. Kind of reminds of uh, Creeping Jenny. But this one is a succulent that creeps, or in this case, trails over the edge of this pot. Starting to put on some new growth here. A lot of it's grown towards this aquarium that I have here because of the bright light, which is good. Helps helps add some extra light to this corner, which helps the plant grows, help the plant grow. And I have it on this plant hanger, a three-tier plant hanger. Uh, the next plant up is an anthurium. Beautiful plant. I actually love this plant. Nice heart-shaped leaves. And the flower also is a heart shape. Flower really is striking because it stands out well behind this waxy green foliage with the waxy green or the waxy red uh, flowers. There's several variations of this plant, all different colors. I've seen pink. This one, I'm hoping to get some other ones with different colors, but real nice plant. Uh, moving up to the top here, I have a ivy. This one is called Ingrid Ivy. I'm hoping to get it to trail over the edge of this pot and hang down. I think that would be a nice look where you have some of the pot and some of the plant hanger showing through the plant. As you can see here, run the top down. Really like that look. Fills in this corner well. Since it's just a corner, it's kind of it's not much you can really do with it. I think this really adds a nice accent to this corner. Uh, over here we have a croton. This is a real nice looking plant. It's a tropical plant. Um, the top's reverting back to green because I didn't have it in bright light. It should look like this down here where you have this bright variegation, several colors, I'm hoping having it next to this aquarium gets me that look again. If not, I'll move it to a window. And down here, I have a ficus bonsai. Very nice looking plant. The bonsai look is so unique. Stands out. And what I like about this plant is the leaves. You have several variation of greens in there. The new growth is a brighter green, the older growths that darker green, and then some of the dying growth leaf, they turn a little bit of yellow, kind of like this one before they fall off. But this plant's doing well. You can see brand new growth all over. It's next to the fireplace. I'm hoping that doesn't bother it too much. Seems to be doing well. I'm going to move to another corner of the room where I have some other plants. On this side, I have a succulent. Not sure the name of this one. I'll look it up at some point if I can find it. But there's so many, it's kind of hard sometimes to find these plants. Beautiful looking plant. Love the, the roughness of the uh, texture. Plus it's low maintenance. You don't really have to water this that much at all. So you could kind of plant and somewhat forget it. Down here you have an orchid. It's not flowering. Flower stem, you know, flower died off. Plus it took a spill. Here you can see the damage on the leaf. But I'm hoping to nurse it back to health and get some new leaves and hopefully a flower stem growing up there. And right here I have a fern. I'm not sure the name of this one either. It's looking a little haggard, a little beat up. The pot that I had it in before wasn't draining well and I didn't realize it. And I actually flooded the pot. Once I noticed it, you know, it started to look a little weathered, but it's coming back. Got some fresh leaves down here. I'll get rid of all this dried up stuff eventually. But I don't really want to stress it too much by nipping and snipping at it. So I'll, I'll let it do its thing. And 
get back to good health. Over here I have some baby succulents from the one down at the other end and a Christmas cactus just tucked in this uh, cup here that's got some beautiful artwork on it. Uh, and down here I have a snake plant, a couple different um, varieties. I'm going to repot this at some point and I might put them in their own um, container, the different types. But for now, it looks pretty good together right now. So, all right, we're going to move along and I'm going to move into the other room where I have some more plants. Now in this sitting room, we'll start off with this plant here. It's called a creeping Jew. This is a real beautiful plant. It has some sparkle to the, to the uh, variegation there in the leaves. I don't know if you can see that, but it also has some nice purple coloration underneath the leaves. Even the old dying growth actually looks good. It turns this yellow creamish color here. Real nice looking plant. I have it on a two tier plant hang it, hanger, but I don't have a plant in this one yet because the pots that I have aren't fitting well in this. So I need to actually get a new pot and probably a new plant while I'm out. I'll do that at some point, maybe today if I get a chance. But moving along here, we have the aloe. Everybody knows this plant. Actually, this plant works great if you ever burn your hands and cut it open and wrap the aloe around your hands. Works great. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> but right here, this is a fern bonsai. It's called an asparagus fern bonsai. I actually need more of this. I, I want to divide this one, but it looks so good. I'm going to try to get some more. You could do so many unique things with this with this plant. Um, I'm I'm really I really love this plant. It has like a, a delicate texture to it with these very narrow leaves. It looks so soft. Like <laughs> you you just want to touch it when you see it. I wish the lighting here was better, but that's all we got for now. It's a little, um, it's been rainy, so I'm not getting much sunlight in through the windows. But moving along, up here we got a pothos plant. A lot of people know about this plant too. It's known for filtering the air. It's one of the best plants for filtering the air in your house. It's also a nice trailing plant. You can run it. I'm planning on running it up over this window sill, over this window here. And we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping to really let it trail out and go up the window, hopefully. Let me back up a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Up the window here and then down and along this bookshelf here, which I actually need to add some more plants along this. But I think that'll look pretty cool. We'll see once it starts to extend here and send its growth out. All right, moving along down here don't mind all the Christmas stuff we all just dealt with that we know how it is here's another fern not sure the name I really need to get the name of this one this this is a very very unique plant when I saw it it has this the root almost looks like the uh, legs of a spider it's all hairy and fluffy and soft and that's where it sends out some of the new stems too. Very nice plant. Really like the look of this. I wonder, I wanted to get a pot that has a bunch of holes along it to see if I can get the roots to, if these roots will stick out and then send out its new growth around the pot. I'll mess with that. I'll see if I can actually divide this one and see how that works out. But all right, I got one more plant, or actually a couple more. 
I'll move to the other side of this room. And over here we have a Fukin Banzai. I hope you heard that right. Fukin. Not to be confused with the other word. But I really need to trim this up. The growth's uh, it's getting a little crazy. It's losing that Banzai look. And it's still young. It hasn't really... I haven't really shaped it to send the branches, you know, give it that curved look. So I'm going to work on that. I've been watching some videos on it. And I'll work on that here in the next year. Hopefully give it a nice shape. It's it's so small. I've seen them. They get they get way up here. Some of the videos I've seen. Alright, moving along here. We have a Christmas cactus or a Thanksgiving cactus. Whichever one, whichever name you prefer to use. But it's not really flowering right now. Some of the flowers, this is the last flower that's dead. And beautiful, unique looking plant actually. You could just break off a leaf and pretty much stick it in some dirt and it'll start growing. And over here on this side here, I have a peace lily that's not flowering right now. I actually look like it needs some water here. What's going on with this? But yeah, it's not flowering right now. But this is another great looking plant and a great looking pot actually too. This is also under an aquarium. I have some videos on the aquarium coming soon. So you guys can see what that's all about. All right. I got one more piece of lily that's actually flowering. I'm gonna show you guys and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. So up here in the bedroom, we have this piece of lily. This one is a different variety. They're all peace lilies, but this one has much larger leaves. You can see with my hand here how big the leaf is. And this one is in flower. Right here, you can see the flower. Great looking flower. On a matching pot to the one that the other one is in, just bigger and taller. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next video. If you want, you can check out some of my other videos. And I'll be doing a video on a planted aquarium. Because I love plants. So, stay tuned. Check out for that video. Hope you hit the like, subscribe to continue watching some of my other content. Have a good day.